Ooh, uh, hello YouTube. This is Baylor Mage again, and we are bringing you the min-maxed version of this build. I am pretty much done min-maxing it at this stage. There is still further things I could do from here, and I will point them out in this video from where I stopped and where you could keep going if you want. But at the moment, my best guess is that I'm doing something around 65 to 70 million. Uh, again, obviously path of building can't tell. We have absolutely no idea, but we are comfortably breezing through tier 17 maps just repetitively. I've done several days worth of them at this point. It absolutely obliterates tier 17s. We do have many people from chat who have gone and killed all of the Ubers with it. It is Uber viable perfectly fine. I don't have any footage of that because I couldn't care less about bossing. I don't want to. I don't care. Uh, we also have several people in less gear than me that have gone and done wave 30 simulacrum. Just in case anyone cares about that. I also don't care about that. I am almost exclusively a mapper. So I don't have any footage of those two things, but it was able to do all of the Ubers. It's able to breeze through most maps in tier 17s and as you can see in the background we're just not struggling with anything at all so uh i'm really really enjoying this we made it quite a bit more tanky and quite a bit more damage and we did a few tricks with that and we're gonna go through them so let's jump in game here we are in game i'm currently halfway through level 97 um i obviously could go and level like i'm, I'm getting xp at this point i, I really don't die anymore 5.3k life with 820 energy shield which is very very nice and i actually changed into a gold flask just because i felt like i had too much defenses for my fifth flask so i ended up with 31,000 armor with all of my flasks up as well so that's real nice uh, it can be higher than that if i use a Basalt flask for more armor, but honestly, this is more than enough armor. So What are the things that we did the rest of this video is going to assume you already came from the regular guide The full guide version and we're just talking about the changes from there until here if you don't know about this build already uh, We we will link to the actual build guide which will go over most of the Important things that you need to know get you set up. This is for min maxing before I start going through it I want to tell everyone this is absolute degeneracy. There is absolutely no reason to take it this far. I am way overkill. I was able to do all of the content I ever would have wanted to do, including Ubers on far less gear than this. But what are we even doing if we don't take the build to its logical extreme? So few things I did. One, we made a new weapon. We decided we didn't really need Convocate anymore. Minions are tanky enough. Animate Guardian doesn't die, although I have actually lost two of them while farming tier 17s. They're a bit dangerous for him, but that's fine. Decided I didn't need that. Needed an Abyssal Socket. So we ended up getting an Abyssal Socket version of that weapon. Plus one to Socketed Gems, Essence Minion Damage, a Fractured Abyssal Socket, a uh what do you call it? an ashling or an orb veiled trigger so that we could have hits can't be evaded on it as well so that is insane and got us an extra ghastly jaw huge uh other things we did is we got an aegis aurora with physical taken as it doesn't actually matter whether it's taken as fire taken as cold taken as lightning or taken as chaos we would want any of them Technically, taken as cold would be the best since we do have plus five cold from the Aegis Aurora and we are also running a taste of hate now, which is uh, quite nice, but gives us 85 on the cold res. So technically that would be the best, but fire is fine. Um, I've kept the same rings. I've kept melding. I have changed my fifth socket i had woke added chaos in here i changed for vile toxins but this is a better support but i can't tell you when because right in early gearing it felt 
worse to have vile toxins in i wanted the added chaos and at some point that changed but because path of building doesn't know how much damage we're dealing i can't really tell you when so once you've got pretty decent gear vile toxins is the play if i was to properly min max this i'd be looking for a plus three dialas so plus two dominions and plus one to all the other option is just plus one to all is literally the exact same as plus two dominions because it would give me plus one to the empower and plus one to the minion which is the same so plus one all or plus two minions is fine if you do plus one all though you could get a level four enhance and put it in a red socket and then you could reach the next break point so that could be a really 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 good option that i just didn't go for now the next best thing there is a new modifier it's not a new modifier it's just a modifier we've never used before on ghastly jewels enemies maimed by you take five percent increased damage over time this is an insane mod it doesn't it isn't necessarily its own more multiplier because it stacks with the effect of wither so we do have 15 wither stacks and that is a more multiplier this jewel adds to that more multiplier so it's not directly its own more but it is still quite a bit of damage if you put them in an abyssal belt that's 10 percent per jewel so there's 10 there and 10 there so there's already 20 percent increased damage taken on the jewel just from there then i have another one with five in my weapon then i have uh another one here with five and another one here unfortunately we made a small mistake and it only has four but there's a lot of those so those are great the problem is it's pretty hard to roll and there aren't any fractures which means if you plan on going that route you're going to be fracturing it yourself and you're going to fail a bunch too so we spent a lot of fractures getting all those jewels um it's basically the only way to craft them because we really needed to have the chance to poison we really need wanted life and we really needed the increased damage taken what i will say is that the flat on jewels at this level of gear is so small it doesn't really even matter i would be just as happy with a dead suffix on all of these jewels in fact most of them except the two in my belt do have a dead suffix i only looked for life chance to poison maim damage right that's what i looked for in all of these the flat we have so much flat already it doesn't matter see this one hit cold did not bother to recraft it this one hit chaos it's great so we had we had some we got one that hit lightning and one that hit cold and we just took it you can also see i've gone into a double cluster setup incredibly good they're both basically the same jewel right these would be slightly better if i had 35 percent increased effect ones but i decided that i i've done enough investing this does everything now so obviously same thing but 35 percent increased effect much better if i was to build this perfectly um the 35 percent increased effect one would have chaos res on it uh but i don't have one of those so you know here we are uh you'll also notice i tattooed the shit out of everything so there's a few reasons for that the first thing we did was fix our small mana problem you may notice if you run a reduced mana or reduced recovery rate map or a cannot regen map then you encounter mana problems that annoyed me so i got one of these which is a life and two mana per enemy hit with attacks now that's 14 projectiles that go out pierce every target and then return piercing all targets meaning even on a single target i hit 28 times each one of those recovers two mana and it only costs me five mana to attack so it's infinite mana so we did that that got us corrupting blood immunity and then i thought well i really only need the life last because of bleed now so instead we went and got tattoos with chance to avoid bleeding 10 percent chance to avoid bleeding and we put 10 of them on that made us bleed immune and corrupt a blood immune i no longer feel like i need a life flask so we moved on from that uh in order to get the maim we tattooed one chance to maim this is uh this is as far as i can tell uh per each individual hit not per each attack so again with 28 hits per attack and a five percent chance to maim 
we're fine. Everything is maimed all the time. All the remaining ones just became 6% armor. I did end up taking the uh, aura nodes here instead of the aura nodes or the RMR nodes that were here just to fit in all my auras still because of the way we changed everything to fit in dual cluster. So that's how that went. It is currently level 97. My last three levels would go into the back of this cluster right here. That'd be 98, 99 and 100. That would be insane. Uh, you'll also notice I don't have a progenesis and I absolutely should, but I've been so tanky, I haven't died at all. So in the path of building, I did add the progenesis in, which brings me from 19,000 max hit to 22.9 thousand max hit for physical which is generally the only thing that ever used to kill us we don't really die anymore however path of building still only thinks i'm doing 17 million dps which is a bit meh it's absolutely not that it is absolutely not that but i'm still going to provide the path of building like that it is closer to something around ish somewhere around 19 to 20 this is what it feels like but if i leave this up on 20 that obviously looks very dodgy for path of building it looks like oh he's padded the numbers but like that's what it feels like i'm doing so but for now we're just going to leave everything at its base i did put the high budget animate guardian gear in here uh specifically mark of the stitch Demon only works because I forbidden the bone barrier node. I did that because I wanted to get tankier. So we got an extra 5% Fismit because we only have 5 minions out. We got the leech and we got the minions gain 40% of their maximum life as extra energy shield. This was really, really good for Mark of the Stitch team. It gives you about something along the lines of 70% life regenerated per second for your animate guardian. It's the only reason he can live through all the tier 17s. And he still will occasionally die. Luckily, if you can farm tier 17s, you make really good money. And dealing with his occasional death is just something I was putting up with. If you wanted to farm tier 17s and ubers exclusively, and you were never going to go back to regular mapping at that point, I would swap out my animate guardian for raised specters instead. They can be roughly as tanky and far easier to replace and I would just use a Pale Sephirim and an Arena Master. I would just give up the Animate Guardian. That would be that would be my play if I was going to do that forever. But yeah, otherwise, that is the min-maxed version of this. This has been the most fun minion build I might have ever played. So I know tons of people are enjoying it. And if you want to min-max it to be a degenerate, uh, this is my absolute favorite way. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Pass the building in the description and I will see you all later.